that second dose of hope. Yeah, we can all use a little bit of good news on a morning like this. Uh, that advisory panel recommending Moderna's vaccine for emergency authorization. Now it is up to the FDA to issue that order. Take a live look right there at a distribution center in Mississippi that is handling the Moderna vaccine, standing by to ship out those potentially life-saving doses once the FDA makes this decision. Decision likely to come late today. Here's what happens next. The first of six million doses slated to be shipped out Sunday morning, which means the new vaccine could be administered early next week. Chief National Affairs Correspondent Tom Yama starts us off. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you. This news on Moderna can't come soon enough. Healthcare workers in every corner of this country are dealing with a pandemic that is exploding like we've never seen before. A member on that FDA panel describing the vote to authorize as an issue of risk versus reward. The panel essentially agreeing the risk is low and the reward to save more and more American lives. This morning, the FDA expected to grant Moderna emergency use authorization, paving the way for the U.S. to have two vaccines available to the public. Overnight, an FDA advisory panel voting overwhelmingly 20 to 0 in favor of recommending the Moderna vaccine be authorized for use in Americans 18 and older. Studies show the Moderna vaccine to be 94.1% effective in preventing symptomatic disease. It looks like we have a favorable vote. Operation Warp Speed says it's ready to ship 6 million doses throughout the U.S. by the end of next week. Unlike Pfizer's vaccine, Moderna's doesn't require special freezers, making it easier to distribute to smaller and remote communities. Like the Pfizer vaccine, Moderna says its volunteers experience common side effects like temporary fever, headache, and fatigue. And several states raising the red flag this week about reduced vaccine allocations. And they haven't given us any explanation of why those numbers are smaller than they were before. Governors from Washington, Illinois and Florida saying they're now seeing a 30 to 40 percent drop off from what they expected for next week. A change when states request the vaccine may have led to the confusion. Operation Warp Speed saying their goal to distribute 20 million doses by year's end is still on track. The confusion over allocation coming as three shipments of the precious Pfizer vaccine had to be disposed of when enclosed GPS thermal sensors detected they were sent too cold. One of the impacted sites, California's Queen of the Valley Hospital, forced to throw out 975 doses it received on Wednesday. We're working with the FDA now, CDC, FDA and Pfizer to determine if that anomaly is safe or not, but we were taking no chances. But in state after state, visible signs of excitement and relief as more frontline workers receive the first dose of that vital vaccine. I haven't seen my parents in a year. A finish line finally in sight in the race to vaccinate. This is hope. This is, I get to hug my mom and my dad, so. Happy. We love seeing those types of images. This morning, we're also learning Congress and the Supreme Court, along with executive branch agencies, will be provided with a specific number of COVID-19 vaccine doses. The reason? The National Security Council says it's meeting long-standing requirements for continuity of government operations. Michael. All right, thank you, Tom. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.